Here is everything needed to install the Schlumpf drive. Uh, this is just a regular Allen wrench for driving the stopper screw here. This is the special uh, screwdriver for tightening uh, the shifter knob. A 14 millimeter socket. For the for the arm nut. This is a special socket for um, for the main nut that holds um, the Schlamm drive in place. Chamfer tool for shaving the bottom shell and the 30 millimeter socket for driving the chamfer tool. Also a couple of cone washers. This is the steel washer uh, for aluminum frames and this is aluminum washer for titanium and steel frames. I will be using this aluminum washer because this high speed drive will be installed on a steel frame. First of all, it's important to check the inside diameter of the bottom shell and also the wall thickness to see if the Schlamp drive will actually fit and you may check the specs at schlamp.ch website. This is surly big dummy steel frame that I will be installing the Schlamp drive on. Now I'm going to shave the edges of the bottom shell so they take the same shape as this cone washer uh, to increase the surface between the bottom shell and the cone washer. This is a chamfer tool. Just tight it enough so there's a little bit of tension. Now use the 30 millimeter socket and a wrench and start shaving. Tighten a little bit more. Be careful to not shave off too much, so I'm going to check how it looks. It actually looks pretty good. The surface is a little bit rough now, so I can 
polish head just hand painting the chunker to it. And now it's nice and smooth. Now I'll need to do the same on the other side. Now clean the bottom shell so there are no uh, fractions of metal remaining. The drive is ready to be installed now. I'm going to be using this aluminum cone washer because this is a steel frame. Note the position of the white nylon screw which covers the access hole for a lubricant. This is the main nut. This is a special socket for tightening the nut. Suggested torque is 140 newton meters. Install the arm. Use the soft mallet. This is a rub this is rubber mallet. Screw in the arm bolt. Use 14 millimeter socket. the shifter nub and it actually requires the adjustment which I'm going to show in the next step. A shifter nub on this side needs to be adjusted so it sticks out just far enough to allow shifting. Uh, this is the shifting action and can be compared to the shifter nub on the other side which is factory installed um, and it can be adjusted to the same level. This is good right here. After a shifter knob has been adjusted, it needs to be secured in place using this special driver to hold it and an Allen wrench to drive the stopper screw in the middle. And I actually like to use a mild Loctite on, uh, on the center screw to make sure it doesn't get untightened. And now it's ready.